Hello and welcome back to Dying for Canvas and I am your host and today I'm going to go over some uh, some things I recommend for just drawing, uh, doodling, whatever you want to call it. So let's go over it, shall we? So I suggest uh, as a sketch pad is a this can, a Canson mixed media uh, pad. Uh, they come in various sizes. This one is nine by twelve inches, uh, twenty-two uh, nine by thirty um, five thirty point five centimeters. It's eighty-six pounds, one hundred and six grams so there are 60 sheets in it this is good for acrylics watercolor pen and pencil so uh, it's just there's nice thick sheets uh, now Walmart sometimes in their clearance sections will have these uh, or relatively cheap. I mean, this one averages about seventeen fifty to eighteen dollars um, with the price. That's the price tag on it. These are just good for like drawing. Uh, very similar paper though, um, and I like the hardback feel. Now it's like this was two ninety nine when I bought it on in clearance, so you can't really beat that for a sketch pad. Uh, it takes pen and ink pretty well and pencil pretty well, so uh, quite happy with that. So, uh, and I want to see what, how it does with colored pencil and uh, so. Now it does seem like with the darker pencils it does sort of get sort of hairy there for a second. You might want to use some fixative for it though. Uh, so there's that, but I wonder what it's going to do like with watercolor. So might want to see with watercolor from that one. So I suggest getting a electric uh, eraser like this. This is a uh, Hua O H U H U battery operated eraser, and it comes with refills, um, and it's just powered by uh, two AAA batteries. But compared to your standard your standard uh, pencil eraser, um, let's see, I'm not too terribly so. You use very little movement and it will erase now I I don't suggest using these Kodak brand uh, batteries they're just underpowered um, I got to replace those so Now for we got these off of Amazon and I got this off Amazon too. And uh these are pretty good colored pencils. They are a uh Marie pencil. Now I usually use the wits and stuff like that, but I really like this case. You could use this case to fill up. It's a good starter kit. Uh I just started taking pencils real seriously again. It comes with a French blender, uh, a pencil, when your pencil gets 
too small this is what this is for you put your nub of your pencil into it uh, a kneadable eraser which you knead up uh, into the shape you need to erase and it's just these are really good for detailed work Active blade for sharpening if you want to go that way and it also comes from 2H all the way up to uh, 8B and um, also comes with some charcoal so charcoal pens so that's cool and then it's an easy to carry case that rolls up and I the I really never seal it so and latches like so. So it's a nice little carrying case. And it keeps your pencils in one location. If you're just be, uh, before I go into that, so I suggest uh, different. Uh, these is this is a ice cream container, uh, and if you can find one of these reusable ice cream containers, these are great for holding uh, miscellaneous items. You don't want to get dirty, or color or you know your pencil shavings um, so this is my preferred one this is a uh, a coom a color combo it has a normal and color pencil uh, eraser and it did have a bottom to it but I've lost that over the years and but this is easier to just hold it to my pencil you know sharpen my pencils that way now I've used to use Prismacolors a lot and I've always had issues with Prismacolors and they always say well get the Prismacolor sharpener so I got the Prismacolor sharpener and I'll tell you something the Prismacolor sharpener does not help the issues with Prismacolors it's just another way of saying just buy more of our product and give us more money so I would say these are pretty much useless they're no different than that coom and actually that coom in my opinion is better than these so and they're less weirdly designed um, so that's that uh, I suggest putting your random pencils and other random stuff and like pickle jars and stuff like that I've also found out that these Ticonderoga pencils they're like a tire renew pencils uh, they sketch really lightly and these are great if you don't want to just put the money into getting dedicated uh, like name brand stuff you could get these at like I think Dollar General or something like that and these sketch really light so actually I use these a lot a lot of times uh, when I'm just sketching that or just a mechanical pencil uh, if I don't want a lot of depth so but yeah this was a surprising like a light and the eraser on it is really good too um, but just make sure that the pickle smell is out of the jar and that way you're not just throwing away stuff and you can repurpose it with uh, for erasers I get my erasers and this and so this is one of my favorite ones and I don't remember what the brand was it, it has a weird texture to it but it, when you're racing it doesn't slip out of your hand uh, I really do enjoy this one and it's thick and uh, going back to my This 
so it, it races real nice, like so, for big swatches. Uh, so, and these are a little bit easier to find. These are the, the uh, Mars plastic ones, and so, and these are really good too. Uh, You know, if I prefer these two are some of the best uh, erasers I've had. Don't ever get like the uh, pink eraser or whatever. Um, stick with these. And I know this looks gross, uh, but after a while, you could sit here and uh, just erase it. If you know, go back. But I've never had any issues with it really transferring. Um, to the paper. And then my final one is this uh, Marie's Soft Eraser. It's a, a 4B. And, so that's that. and and then it's another just good overall eraser. So this is great for detail work. Uh, so is the needable, and these are good for uh, wanting to erase a large amounts. So I'll just keep that open. So I prefer a certain. Uh, brand of color pencils, and this is the just the beginner set, uh, the Soho brand. Uh, I'm a big proponent. These could be purchased at Jerry's Artorama. They're their in-store brand. Uh, a couple things I like about them is, and I have uh, two other sets, uh, is that these tins are actually hinged, so you don't lose the top, unlike you do with Prismacolors. And I pre um, and I'm pretty sure they're comparable, but I also like the hand feel uh, because they're not cir completely circular. The, there's the identifier, the color identifier, the name of it, the number, uh, the color pencil number. These are harder lead, so you could get a really nice sharp point to them. And uh, I. And color-wise, I feel pretty comparable to uh, Prismacolors, and they don't uh, break. Like Prismacolors do, and the uh, the wood, so that is a huge uh, benefit. There's a, is a really hard, it's a pretty hard, uh, but yet creamy uh, application. And the colors are pretty uh, clear without getting too, and they don't get muddy. And you can also blend them. Real nicely too. So, without a lot of issue. And they don't create a waxy top when you blend or get too much on there, <coughs> uh, like Prismacolors do. So that was just a little demo. Uh, they come in your basic one, and then they have this bigger tray, and 
they have a double and these are a lot cheaper than Prismacolors even as you go up and like I said there's other advantages to them but I do have some Prismacolors And I prefer, I like just really this set is uh, a, a good set to have if you do a lot of flesh tones. Uh, it's one of the few brands that I've actually seen that have flesh tone uh, colored pencils. So. demo slash uh, review uh, is so I got some watercolors I've been wanting to do that for a while now so I finally broke down and bought some um, I got some Lucas uh, opaque watercolors A plastic container. So the only big issue I have with this sort of set is that these just clip in to this tray here and uh, they're sort of difficult to get in. When I first got them they popped out and we had to reset all of them. Uh, mostly my wife did it because that's what she wanted to do and then um, so, but they're a nice pressing. Uh, there's no transfer. That's not the, there's there's no transfer. It's just I have like ink on my hand. Um, so no transfer from the palette. This is the the white, and uh, so there's that set. There's these little divots, uh, for, I guess, for water. Um, that you can use, but I decided that I was going to try to, uh, this is mostly what I'm just going to use for just doodling and stuff, and just getting some color. Um, so I got the Aqua Stroke Go Traveling Water, uh, Traveling Painting and Water Brush, Water Brushes is a set of three, um, and I already took them out. I filled one with water. So they come in three different uh, brush sizes, and they're pretty easy. Uh, just make uh, to to uh, to release to fill up. Um, so just make sure you grab the bottom here. The screw goes to the left, and. You fill that up with water, and you screw it back on. Uh, at first, the screw is sort of difficult to get on and off, but uh, I think over time it just becomes second nature. I was trying to make it more, way more complicated than what it was. So, and then it goes on by screwing it that way. So, even I just got these out today, so I already filled one up. Uh, this one's full of water, and this is the. The other one, and I think these were like five bucks from Jerry's. So, and the paint palette was like twenty-five. So, uh, now we're using this as my demo page. So we'll just continue with that and see how it stands up to this water um, painting. So, I really never forayed into uh, watercolor before, so this is a first for me. Um, so, and the idea is that you can squeeze here and it will give you more water and it's just a little bit easier to control that way. So let's just... Oh, that's nice.
is my sort of like my demo sheet. Um, Soho colored pencils and the watercolor. And the one reason why I got the and so let's see how this. So it looks like there's no bleed through as long as you're gentle. So with this uh, Walmart brand here. So with everything said and done, um, the reason why I bought the Lucas color set is because they also make a color, uh, an oil paint that I want to play around with when I get the money for it. So I want to see what their pigments were like. Um, I was in the market for that, so uh, I recommend all these uh, items that I I've done. I have because uh, I've used them over the years. Um, trial and you know, listen to other artists. Uh, you definitely trials and tribulations are a big thing within the art world, you, uh, and there's a lot of different conflicting things online, and uh, on what this does, what this doesn't do. Like I said, it took me years to figure out what bloom meant, and uh, as a varnish, uh, that's for my painting one. So, uh, like I said, if you're starting out, I would go with the Soho brand, um, and if and just I would say off of Amazon uh, for a lot of the product. And not like I said, I'm not in any. I don't care. Either way, if you want to order from Amazon, it's just there's a lot of what seems like a good deal, and then it turns out to be just crap. So just be careful what you buy. Look at the reviews, things like that. I prefer Jerry's because uh, I've gone there for years and I've never had any issues. They don't carry subpar stuff, in my opinion. So uh, you just. Uh, you go with it, what your gut tells you and um, that said uh, I hope that helps trying to figure out how to navigate the art world uh, and uh, sort of uh, help you with this with the product you need on a economic um, you know economically the, the biggest issue with art stuff, and I always joke with my wife about this, is you could take a regular pen, a pen, you know, and uh, attach art pen to it and charge another $17 for that pen. So there's ways around it. Like if you're really into like art uh, pen work, uh, you don't have to get like microns because there's a lot of issues with microns. Uh, they dry out way too quickly. I don't feel like they're as good as they advertise themselves to be. But you could get like a Pilot V5 for as you know, for cheaper. Um, you can get uh, different nibs for um, uh, fountain pens, and you could get your own ink that way. You, you don't really. I mean, if you want to do the felt stuff, there's other pens out there. Uh, so it's just trials and tribulations. But you don't always have to buy the most high priced thing to get the desired effect that you're looking for. I think that's a big huge misnomer uh, within the art world is that you have to buy the most expensive thing um, product and this brand has been around forever well there's a hundred different brands and a lot of times you know you gotta look at the makeup of what that brand is um, like the Winton's uh, for instance, uh, are a student brand, so they use a, a the the pigment and a, a synthetic pigment to keep their costs down. So you're not going to get as vibrant colors as you would a regular uh, if you would go for the professional line. So you got to look into that. Um, you know, I would stay away from anything uh, like art related, more or less. From Walmart, uh, like uh, that would carry, um, yeah, they carry Prismacolors now, uh, but you know, like the the oil paints, the the Roll and Dolls and stuff like that, or whatever they call it, they're really really muddy. Um, 
I guess the canvas is okay. I would definitely gesso the canvas before you start painting, but I suggest you gesso canvas before you start painting in general. Uh, just make sure you get the, those three coats and because you don't know how good the factory gesso is. Um, and uh, you know, feel the paper, does it feel right? Uh, things like that, you, you gotta really start questioning uh, the product you're buying if it's worth even the money that you're going to to buy uh, even if it's low cost it's still you're going to cost it's going to cost you more to have that low cost item because you're not getting what you want out of it so you're going to have to buy that low cost item and then a higher cost item just to get where you are or you're just not going to be happy you get discouraged and you, and you don't want to draw paint uh, sculpt anything you know it's just you do your own research and figure it out uh, there's plenty of other resources online uh, there's forums and things like that so go look at those uh, ask questions and uh, alright you have the good rest of your day and uh, I'll see you in the next painting bye